On June 21, 2003, an anti-tank mine hit Captain Dave Rizel's Humvee. It was not up armored. When I went to push myself out of the vehicle, um, I pushed my right foot down on the ground and was pushing as hard as I could to pull my left foot free. But I wasn't getting any footing, and what it was was there was no foot there to, um, besides just a mashed up foot inside the boot, to give me the leverage I needed to get out of the Humvee. It was an instant that changed his life. Just, you know, bad luck. Terrorists got me. Captain Rizal had to make the difficult decision to have his foot amputated. They'd already cut my boot off and it had flopped over lifelessly to one side and I thought, how can they save that? It wasn't until he returned home to his family that the reality of the situation hit him. That was the moment where I realized for the rest of my life I was going to be like this. A realization his wife and almost two-year-old son had to adjust to as well. You know, she was a big part of it. Um, you know, the Army wives never get enough credit, but uh, we have really seen it with as many injured soldiers that have come back that uh, the wives really have, have had to take on a new role we haven't seen before of, um, of as caretakers. Um, and that's a really thankless job. He knows when he's cute. You can tell. Look at him. He's like, don't I look cute? He'll grab my fake foot and squeeze it. And I'll grab my real foot and squeeze it. And I'll grab my fake foot and I'll hold them both and look at them and so he's kind of figuring out that it's not real or whatever but he doesn't really understand I mean. the harsh reality for amputees is that most of them won't return to battle but with the support of his family and months of physical therapy captain Rizal got his chance he returned to active duty exactly one year after his first deployment to Iraq and nine months after he lost his foot I'm no different than any other soldier you know, it's difficult for any man or woman to come to war uh, and know that their life's at risk. And I don't consider myself any different than any of the soldiers. He now commands the regimental headquarters headquarters troop for the 3rd Armored yeah, Cavalry Detachment at one. Camp Stryker in Baghdad. Uh, S5. No one gives no one gives me a break. You know, I'm I'm just another I'm just another captain in, in the in the regiment, and you know, I don't really have a chance much to think about it. Um, obviously, when I go and run and, and exercise and things like that, I'm, I feel I'm very conscious of myself being an amputee. Uh, but day to day, walking around and, and doing, my, doing my job, I really don't see anything different about it because um, whether I had two feet or one, I'm really doing the, same, doing the same thing. And he says, even just being here two months, coming back has brought him full circle. Well, it's brought me back to the point where I was injured. And I can start. I can start over again. I can start my life again. Captain Rizal is the first amputee to return to Iraq. I broke one, but I have uh, I have a suitcase full of spares, so let's change them out. But more are petitioning to stay on active duty and return to battle. Guys like that inspire me. And they really do, and and they're the, they're telling me that I'm inspiring them. But I look at them and say, you know. I'm doing this for you guys. Captain Rizal has been in the Army for 12 years and plans to continue his career as long as he can. The day comes where I find I can't do my job because I'm limited by not having a foot, I'll be the first to get out. I promise. And that's my leg. Staff Sergeant Melissa Allen, AFN News. It really is gone. Baghdad.